Hey guys, it's Delaney. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching the last one. I got a lot of support on it um, and I am going to continue posting every single week. Um, but let's just get into this video. So today we're going to be doing a little field trip, like a mini vlog. Um, I'm going down to Boston to go to Gym Hub for some glute isolation and back. And then I'm going to do what I eat after. So yeah, let's just get into it. So today we took the train to Boston because it was like a Sunday and we wanted to get there quickly. And usually it, there's traffic, like lots of traffic in Boston. So yeah, the train ride was pretty nice. Took about 45 minutes. And just here's my little walk. I think it's so pretty in the city. I really would not mind living here if it wasn't like the most expensive place in the U.S. to live. So first I'm going to start off with some warm-ups and mobility first i just start off with some quad uh warm-ups like kicking my leg back just to get a good like stretch dynamic stretching um and it's really important to warm up before every single workout because like i'm sure a lot of you know but some of you don't know if you don't warm up before workouts you can be more success susceptible to injuries and you can also maximize the results you're looking for if you warm up. Um, make sure not to do any static stretching. So that means holding a stretch for like longer than three seconds. Um, make sure to always do uh, dynamic stretching. Wait, yeah, I think that's what I said. Don't do static, do dynamic Dynamic is when you're moving and stretching, moving and stretching. Mostly it's mobility and what, like what I'm doing here. Um, this is for my hip flexors. Um, I have pretty tight hips. So what, rocking back and forth in that lunge position is pretty nice, um, especially before squats. And I am taking convict pre-workout. That stuff is no joke. It makes me feel like I'm not sober. It's pretty strong tasting. I like the taste, but obviously by my face, it's pretty strong. Um, but it literally makes me feel like I'm in my own world. Uh, like, just not the normal headspace I'm in. Um, I was not feeling it this workout. Like, I was so tired. So I usually don't warm up on the treadmill but I decided to do about 10 minutes walking just to get my blood flowing and dance around until my pre-workout hits. Because I was just, today, that day was just not a good day to do legs. But it ended up pretty well. I started out with some hip thrusts. And I think I did six sets of this this time. Usually I do five, but... They were feeling so good. I thought I could do more, so I did more. Um, I started off with about 20 reps to really feel the activation in my glutes. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys what I was doing today. So I did glute isolation and back because I went like two days every two days doing like a different part of my legs so originally I was supposed to do full legs like two days before this but I ended, I ended up just doing quad isolation because my glutes were still sore from the last leg day so I just ended up doing um, glute isolation and I added some back exercises into this workout so I ended up doing about 15 reps for this second set and as you can see, I'm really slowing down my reps because I really want to feel the mind-muscle connection and holding it at the top for a second to two. Sometimes I hold it for three at the end of my set. Um, but that all just really helps with mind-muscle connection, feeling that burn, and just knowing that I'm maximizing and making the best use of my time in the gym. Uh, for this next set, I do, I add up the weight and I do, I think it's 12 to 15 reps. Um, but my pre-workout's starting to kick in and I'm feeling good. 
before this workout um, and any type of leg day or hard type of exercise I know I'm about to do, I like to eat two to three meals just so I can be my strongest version of myself when I get in there and have the longest lasting energy. But I always bring a protein shake and a source of carb, maybe like a banana, um, just in case I end up super hungry and with no energy, like when I get to the middle of my workout. Um, also, this fourth set, I believe I'm doing 12, 10 to 12 reps, just as many as possible. This is when it started to get really hard. And then for my last set, I put three plates on each side, and I believe I went to eight reps. And this was close to failure, but I wasn't trying to fail yet because I still had like my whole workout to do. I don't know if this sounds weird, but lately I've just been really, really loving the pain that hard workouts and coming close to failure, going to failure brings me. Like, just, it gives me so much, like, I don't know, satisfaction after the set is done. But it also feels like I'm just letting a lot of, like, mental stuff out on the set, like, the really hard set. The pre-workout that I took is, like, an instant laxative. So, this is a perfect outfit. <laughs> just kidding. But, like... Yeah, it's the perfect outfit for how I'm feeling right now. Next, we got some cable kickbacks, and it got a little hot in there. My pre-workout was kicking. I was sweating, so I'm just taking my clothes off. Um, I haven't done cable kickbacks in a while, so these really made me sore the next day and the day after. Like, the second day is always the worst, but these... I didn't feel much during my workout, but I felt them a lot the days after. Um, so I started with, um, I think I did four sets, and I went until 15 on each leg um, for, th I believe, three sets. It's hard to go to failure on these just because it hits such a small like part and it's hard to like isolate that part every single time so sometimes I'm hitting like my glute minimus and then sometimes I end up hitting the outside of my glute max it's just really hard to make these I don't know how to how to explain it like make them the same every single time um but if anybody has any advice to make it so it's like the, it hits the same thing every time I would like to know because even when I keep my foot the same, like the same stance, the same place I kick it up, uh, sometimes I feel it in different places. But I did 15 on this next set as well. And then I believe during the end, I started to go down because I hired the weight. I went up to 10 to 12. Um, I tried to do as many reps as possible, uh, but... The standing leg sometimes gives out before the one actually doing the work. Um, these are just really interesting. But yeah, here's me checking out a non-existent quad pump. Yeah, embarrassing. I, I keep saying my quads have been looking like Deadpool's quads when he got his legs chopped off and he was <laughs> growing the baby legs. But that's, yeah, that's just my body dysmorphia. But my quads are pretty sad. I've been working out for like eight years now. And as you can see, my quads are barely there. Very heartbreaking. Um, anyways, this is just me doing my kickbacks. <laughs> um, I really like this gym. There's like no one in there. Like at any time. And I love Boston. So taking some field trips out here is always like the highlight of my week. Kind of gets me through the week. Like the only thing that gets me out of bed is just knowing that I have legs that day because I love leg day or just planning a YouTube video. I just don't have like a lot of motivation right now. So these are just some things that have been 
helping me go on with everything. Every time I see support from you guys, it means a lot. It makes me more motivated to keep going. Because if you're a day oneer on here, I'm sure you know that I got bullied really bad. I got a lot of hate basically for no reason growing up in high school and middle school. So it, growing up was just not an easy time for me at all. And adding on to just regular personal life problems, which was also not good, it it didn't mix well growing up. So I feel like that just carried on. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm over that stuff now, but now I just have like like lingering mental health issues. Or maybe I always had them and all of that just brought it out of me, but the world may never know. <laughs> And here's me about to say something in my camera, and then I fell on my butt, and I forgot what I was going to say. So, yeah. Up next, we got one of my favorite glue isolation for the hip abductors. Um, the, it's called hip abductors. This exercise is... Uh, da, ba, 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 ba. Uh, I can't talk. Oh, my gosh. People say, don't cut this. Don't, don't trim it. Just post it raw. I don't sound right. I don't sound normal. <laughs> um, okay, try again. So hip abductors. I'm doing f four sets. No, I did three sets to burn them out. And I went to failure almost on every single set. I think the last two sets I went to failure. And the first set, I just went until I started cramping. So yeah. I tried two plates on each side. Mm, didn't work. My glutes were shot at this point. I tried again. Mm, didn't work. And so I took the plate back off. This thing has a seatbelt. Isn't that crazy? And it actually like does make a difference because it doesn't let your booty lift off the seat. Um, but yeah, I did three sets of this. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was the last exercise before I moved on to some back work. And for the back work, I started with some standing bent over rows um, with this machine I've never used before. It was pretty cool. For some reason, those hip thrusts already made my back super tired. So I don't think I was doing as much weight as I could have. <clears throat> Can't breathe. Um... I did four sets of these rows and I supersetted it with some lat pull downs because I was being rushed because um, the place we wanted to eat closed in like 30 minutes. So I had to do my entire back workout in 30 minutes. So yeah, I did four sets of these and I did 10 to 8 reps um, each set. I think out of... All of the things I could train, I hate training back the most because I have so many knots in between my shoulder blades. It literally kills me every single time. And when I'm sore, it feels like those knots literally just enlarge. And I've gotten massages and I've gone to the chiropractor and I just feel worse after. Like the chiropractor especially, like they just do the same three pops every time and I don't feel any different. If anything, it feels like I'm like pinching a nerve after. Um, so yeah, I'm doing lap pull downs and I'm doing the same with these. I'm doing four sets and I'm doing eight to actually 12 reps. I think the first set I did 12 reps, then I did 10, then eight, and then last one was eight. So here's a little bit of extra time with these workouts I recorded so I can just yap some more. But for my YouTube, I just wanted it to be like less, less like strict and I wanted it to be more casual. So I'm like able to talk about whatever I want to talk about while showing my workouts, like still being educational, but also like talking about my life, being able to vlog doing cooking videos if I want to cook that day and show you guys what I made. Um, yeah, I just want to be able to have like freedom on here so it doesn't become like a job and more of like a hobby um, so I can have fun with it and so you guys can actually enjoy my videos. So yeah, if you guys want to see anything in particular, um, comment that down below. Um, I got vlogs a lot and I felt like this one was like a mini vlog because it's kind of showing 
me getting there, working out, but it's like more of a workout video at the same time. But I'm also going to show you guys what I ate after. So yeah, it's like, it's like a little mini tiny little vlog. Um, okay, yap time is over. This is the next exercise. I've never done this before, but I've seen people do it. Um, as you can tell, I'm like confused and trying to fix it right. Um, it's like these back flies. Um, reverse chest flies kind of um, just sit backwards on the chest fly machine and do it slowly I was trying to do it slower but I feel like I was still doing them too fast um, but these worked the middle of your back and for my first time doing this it wasn't my favorite but also um, I probably could have upped the, the weight a lot more so I could feel it more um, but yeah these I did four sets of 10. And that is the end of my exercise. This is just me posing with my non-existent quad pump once again. Um, and I am super fluffy and bulked up. So posing is not my favorite thing to do right now, but I like to see my glutes have been growing crazy. And I do like to, to pose and see how big they've gotten. <laughs> Um, it's crazy because I've been focusing so much on quad dominant workouts and my glutes are still growing. I mean, which is a good thing. I'm not going to complain about my glutes growing, but. This was our beautiful walk to get some food. So for the post-workout meal, we went to dig and I got no base with sweet potatoes as my carb double chicken and broccoli the broccoli is amazing and yeah i'm staying on my macros so and by the way the food is so good and yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching bye